Welcome to the media chat room where the celebrity headlines are talking. Hey to all my chatty patty lovers out there. We have a good one for you today. But first, I'm going to need you to subscribe to the channel. In the media chat room, we'll be discussing all of the latest hot topics going on with your favorite celebrity. So if the streets are talking about it, so are we. Now all I need you to do is make sure that you hit your notification bell so that you can know when we upload our next video. Hey, Chatty Patties, the headlines are not stopping. It's getting hard to keep up. And I had to report to y'all another breakup story. It seems like these are just becoming a regular. And lo and behold, y'all, we have Miss Jada Pinkett Smith, who is married to, of course, Will Smith. Yesterday, while on the Today Show, she announced to hold that she and Will have been separated since 2016, which is a total of about seven years so far. And as soon as this story broke, I made a quick chat saying some people may be surprised and some may not. Because as you all know, there's been many speculations about their marriage for many years. So in the interview, she said that basically they are declared amongst themselves as divorced. However, they have not moved forward with the legalities of the divorce. Now, Taddy Pat, as you know, usually I go digging in the headlines so that I can try to pull up what she said, he said, they said, and everything like that. But that'll be too easy. So I want to take a different approach with this. And one. the reason there's no need to pull up all the interviews and everything that was discussed previously because they were all lies, including or especially the Red Table Talk. Now, the idea of the talk show was very progressive and it was something, in my opinion, that was needed for our culture and generation because as a society, we're growing past the don't talk about it and we're trying to build a new generation based off of self-awareness and emotional intelligence. But the problem is if you're going to be the face of this new evolution, then you have to walk it like you talk it. And maybe that's what led the show to getting canceled. Because to a certain degree, the people could pick up what you're putting down. Which, again, was lies. I'm starting to feel in my gut that there's about to be something way bigger that's going to hit. And this gives them that outlet to be like, well, we wasn't even together anyway. Kind of like that August L.C. in a situation, but in reverse. Maybe it's going to be Will this time. Because y'all know, allegedly, he been in these streets, okay? This, to me, when I first heard it, it's just screaming identity crisis. When you look back on the family's history, History and all that they've accomplished and all what they set out to do, it creates this false narrative in your mind that you have to be a certain way. And to a certain degree, you do have to be because you are the brand. I keep telling y'all, Jay-Z said it best. I'm a business man. Everything you do and everything you say matters when you are in the spotlight, including everybody that's attached to you. Y'all go dig in the archives. Go look at Jada Pinkin when she first started on the scene. Her attitude and persona was real raw, very much like Tupac. She was very conscious of the black power and the position that black people were in. And over time, while being with Will Smith, she became very much polished. And when you're doing all that for a check because you realize and start to understand how business work, it becomes inauthentic to yourself. And to me, over the years, she's been screaming identity crisis. It's almost like they consciously took the hit and the brunt of it so that their children could be free. Because if you notice, that's the philosophy that they teach as parents. So I'm going to be perfect so that you don't have to be. And there's also something to be said for those people who are trying to be the first to do something. We're going to be the first generation to have wealth. We're going to be the first generation to air out our trauma we're gonna be the first generation to be intellectually and emotionally available and that looks different which ultimately goes against everything that society tell us we are and have to be but then you get sucked into this world of perfection and want everything to look a certain way and you get stuck so whereas like all the things that i ever told y'all I was lying to y'all, but I was lying to myself too because that's the image that we needed to portray. Y'all, these people are not stupid. They're not dumb. They know exactly what they're doing and they know how media works. After seven years, Jada is not just saying that they're separated just because. This is a strategy for something bigger that we don't know about. Now, everybody talking about what she said on the whole the interview, but she looks like a woman who's carrying around a lot of pain, guilt, and resentment, like going against your better judgment because if you remember, at one point in time, Jada said she never wanted to be married. And the reasons could be for exactly what she's going through right now identity loss and also the loss of someone who you really love and not having enough time to grieve and grieve properly i mean why do you think will smith was jealous of jada's and tupac's relationship well i can tell you it wasn't just for nothing there was a certain level of authenticity that she carried whenever she was able to be herself and that's not who will smith could be with even taking a look at sheree will smith's ex-wife her persona was very different than jada's almost like a cookie cutter princess perfect girl and if y'all remember he did not want to get divorced he said it and sheree confirmed it. When you are living outside of yourself, you're going to always be on a quest to find something. And I think Jada announcing that they've been separated for all these years give her a little bit of freedom and the ability to take back some of the power that she's probably given Will and so many other people 
throughout her life, especially the public. But that's just my thoughts from looking at the interview and actually listen to some of the responses that were given over time. Yeah, we know a lot of it was built off of lies, but when you have the truth, you can start to piece together some of the information. I believe a lot more stuff is going to start to make sense once her book actually drops. The name of the book is called Worthy and it's going to drop October the 17th. So I just want to tell everybody now, go ahead and clutch your pearls just in case you start to really get the truth as to what her relationship was really like with Tupac. Because based off the title, it sounds like she's giving herself permission to receive something that she's been missing. And that was a relationship that people always felt like she was dishonest about as well. Because there always seems to be some type of high level connection that they shared, almost like true intimacy. And I often think people forget she really had no closure with that relationship because her and Tupac were not on speaking terms before he died. And grief is hard enough on its own. But to imagine having to grieve someone publicly who was such a public figure that people talk about still to this day and he's been gone 27 years. You're constantly reminded of him so that makes you constantly remember what you guys share. So you remain in a reflective state of mind instead of progression. Y'all I said it once I'm gonna say it again. I think that this book is gonna be the step to something bigger about to happen. It's no coincidence that Will just dropped his memoir about two years ago and his memoir was about facing some type of fear that he's always had ever since he was a child and now she's writing a memoir that requires her to now tell the truth about her life. Just take a look at both of these covers. There's a similarity that both of them share. Now maybe in some miraculous way these two books will parallel and bring them together so that there's a better deeper understanding for both now, like of them. Like I just told y'all Will Smith a lot of his book was based around fear and the fear that he had surrounding his father and the abuse that he used to witness his mom endure and then some kind of way they were able to spin it to say that those feelings were some of the things that he started to feel whenever he saw Chris Rock verbally attack Jada in some weird way or another it made him feel hopeless as a person who couldn't protect someone he loved and as y'all know Jada has now stated that Chris Rock attempted to date her in the past whenever he thought that her and Will were divorcing years ago and maybe that story is going to bring some kind of context as to what Will was really dealing with the night of the Oscars because other other than that, I can't really understand what that has to do with her book. And why she would talk about that during some of her promotional interviews. Because this book is targeted for women, I really hope that this is the moment that Jada decides to be real transparent and open. With a lot of things that she's endured in the industry and as a woman. This now is going to be her real moment since she was not able to bear herself on the Red Table Talk, which was her show. As her release date comes closer, she's posting more on Instagram and this is one of the latest things that she posts in regards to her book. So many of us women do not share the full scope of our journey because of the fear of being criticized and judged. I've been through the gauntlet of judgment and criticism, which have given me the courage and strength to share the journey that sits behind the curtain that we all travel in trying to figure out this thing called life is all about. My hope with my book worthy is that any of you who may be stuck, hopeless, or confused, that my journey can offer you some oxygen, some strength to deepen your willingness to keep stepping towards your greatness. Life is complicated but beautiful, and if you're willing to take this ride with me, I think you'll be surprised of all the love and treasures that are wasted on the other side. Now on the outside looking in, child. Will seems to be very supportive as she did post a video of her books coming in and he was right there alongside with her. And their three kids. Letting her know that they're proud of her. Bearing all her soul out and trying to move in a direction towards healing and self-discovery. I hope that she have a therapist on speed dial. Because I'm tired just reading it, thinking about it, and sharing it. So y'all already know, Chatty Patties, it's time to get in the comments. Let me know what you think about this whole entire situation. Do y'all think that this could be a step into the right direction for Jada to identify who she really is. Or do you think that something bigger is about to happen and they had to make this announcement in order for them to savage what they have left of their brain? And let me know if you're going to be getting this book. I need to know if there's going to be some more things in there that we need to talk about. Y'all know I'm going to be looking for y'all comments. So definitely let me know. Now, if there's some more things that you guys would like to see on the channel, make sure you also drop it in the comments. I love making this type of content and I love connecting with you guys. So I want to be able to make content that everyone enjoys. Make sure that you guys like the video as well as share it and subscribe to our channel so that YouTube know that we are making great content for our chatty patties and so that new chatty patties can find them. and last but not least make sure that you guys press the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we drop our next video that is all for now i will be digging through the headlines to bring you guys another story soon so until next time bye bye